I am here to answer that question racing through everyone's mind in the grocery store. What products are good and worth my money? I answer this by buying new and interesting products and then recording my in-depth review so that you will know what you are getting. All of this in an attempt to bring it to you full circle. Good evening YouTube, Full Circle Review back here again with another review and thanks to my procrastination and prioritization of unoptimal goals, I'm reviewing seven different flavors of Hershey's Kisses from different seasons. I'm sorry, um, really been, really just been um, letting this snowball and escalate, but uh, basically just you're going to get to see all the seasonal kisses reviewed in one video. I'm sorry and hopefully you find this video helpful. All nutritional information will be at the end of the video for your viewing convenience, but I'm just going to hop into this and try to get this processed so you don't have to waste your time with me rambling on about how I'm trying not to waste your time. Starting off, we have Hershey's Hot Cocoa Kisses. Hershey's Sugar Cookie Kisses. Hershey's Lava Cake Kisses. Hershey's Melt Away Roses. Hershey's Vampire Kisses. Hershey's Cherry Cordial Kisses. And Hershey's Candy Cane Kisses. So I have Christmas, Halloween, and Valentine's Day. Let's get it done. Starting off with the Vampire Milk Chocolate filled with strawberry flavored cream naturally and artificially flavored. Um, technically these are expired. But I don't think they're going to be bad. Purple wrapper, red bats. I don't really think Hershey's chocolate goes bad. Let's see if I can bite this in half because it's supposed to have a strawberry filling. Oh yeah, very liquidy. That is bad artificial. Okay. Super sweet. I do not taste any chocolate at all. Well, there's a hint there at the end. It's a milk chocolate. It's too sweet. It's artificial. It's a bit gummy. And I don't... I didn't taste any strawberry at all. And the thing is, it's full. The filling basically just melts in your mouth like a syrup. I'm thinking that it, it's regular Hershey's milk chocolate, but all I'm tasting is this artificialness. There is no strawberry. Like, there is even no benefit from the filling here. Like, there's no texture difference. And I'm just left with this artificial milk chocolate. This is, this is nasty. Um, 29 out of 100. I do not taste any strawberry. Filling is way too thin. It needs to be thicker like a caramel. Milk chocolate, I need to be able to taste the milk chocolate. The filling should not be so artificial that it overpowers the milk chocolate. Can't really knock Hershey's milk chocolate because that's what I bought. Um, this is just so artificial, it's bad. Now the lava cake. Dark chocolate with gooey chocolate center chocolate on chocolate this one is like pink and brown with a heart design this is like really this is a lot shinier than a regular kiss thick chocolate syrup filling
That one is a lot better. Tastes like regular Hershey's milk chocolate. And then if you can imagine, like Hershey's um, syrup on the inside. It's a little bit thicker though, not quite as slim. This is darker than regular Hershey's milk chocolate. I wouldn't say dark chocolate. You get a little bit of artificialness like you get in Hershey's syrup, but it's not bad. This is a lot like a lava cake. It's gooey on the inside. Kind of a fun little difference in Hershey's Kisses. I prefer a regular Hershey's Kiss. This is not quite as buttery or smooth as a Hershey's milk chocolate. This is um a little, I guess you could say chalky, a little dry. A little bit of artificialness there, but it's not near as bad as the Vampire. This one I would give an 82 out of 100. It's darker than a regular Hershey's Kiss. The filling is liquid. So if you like cream fillings, this would be like a good option for you. It's not what I would call necessarily a lava, but it's kind of like a cream filling, but it's not quite as light. It's basically Hershey syrup. I could see myself buying this one again, but it's nothing special. Now the Roses Milk Chocolate Melt Away. Milk chocolate with a chocolate melt away center. I'm thinking that this should be like a truffle. Oh yeah, a lot thicker, thicker. Texture is just like a truffle filling. That feels exactly like biting into a lint truffle. Slightly firm outside, smooth butter inside. Okay, that's good. Don't get me wrong, this is Hershey's chocolate through and through. It's not a high quality chocolate. But the flavor in this is strong. It's like the truffle filling hits your palate harder than Hershey's chocolate alone. A little bit darker than Hershey's chocolate, so it's not quite as sweet. Creamy. Smooth. You still get that artificial Hershey's wang. But this is one of the best Hershey's products I've had. I wouldn't say it's a dark chocolate, but imagine a concentrated Hershey's Kiss. That cream filling, or the truffle filling, it's like a condensed. It tastes like you're eating like four kisses squeezed down into one. Very concentrated flavor. Very good. Definitely buy this again. 92 out of 100. Just understand it is Hershey's chocolate. Nothing spectacular. Do wish this was darker, less gummy. Definitely could use salt. Now we're going to try the Hot Cocoa Kisses Milk Chocolate with a Marshmallow Flavored Cream. Definitely can't see how this is going to go wrong. Very thick white cream. The thing is, it tastes like marshmallow. It honest to goodness tastes like marshmallow. I would not call this hot cocoa. Because I get Hershey's chocolate and marshmallow. I don't really get a cocoa flavor. But the marshmallow cream is very dense. Almost like the chocolate itself. Super sweet. You get it's kind of like a artificial marshmallow flavor. It's there. This definitely delivers on what flavors they say are there. I think this is good. Not one I would buy again because I don't just care for just a marshmallow flavor. But this literally tastes like Hershey's chocolate and marshmallow. They deliver on the points. Uh, 89 out of 100. Wish the marshmallow wasn't so uh, artificial tasting. Less chemicalness. Wish the chocolate was stronger. This needs not be so sweet. And I feel like since they're calling it hot cocoa, add some cocoa aspect so you get that cocoa powder aspect. It's just I just get Hershey's chocolate and marshmallow. Still a pretty good product. 
Now I'm going to do the sugar cookie. Sugar cookie flavored white cream with cookie pieces. This one I think is going to be good. Oh. Very pretty. It's like little pastel colors inside of white. A lot firmer. Nice crispy like cookie bits on the inside. Mmm. Really like the texture here. Since it's firmer, it doesn't disintegrate in your mouth as fast. It doesn't come across as buttery as typical Hershey's chocolate. But I love those cookie pieces. I get the vanilla. And I even get like a little bit of a flower flavor. This definitely has sugar cookie. This literally tastes like a sugar cookie. It's not super strong. I would actually say this one's not sweet enough. I wish there was more vanilla. But the crispiness is very good. The cookie flavors there is just a little mild. I really wish it was creamier, more buttery, stronger vanilla flavor. And this would be spectacular. 94 out of 100. This is the best one so far. Now I want to try the candy cane. Mint candy with stripes and candy bits. I find it interesting how they say it's mint and not peppermint. But we'll see about this. Oh, okay, that's a very pretty kiss. Okay. Um, very smooth, creamy. You definitely get the mint flavor, but I would not call that a mint. I would call that a peppermint. There's crispy bits of candy cane. It had amazing like sugar burst texture. Love it. It's creamy. And smooth, but this is probably the creamiest one today. It's not gummy. This actually comes across as very natural. I get a little bit of vanilla. It's perfectly sweet. I mean, it's not exactly a candy cane flavor, and it's not exactly a mint flavor. It's definitely not toothpaste. It's almost like the mint flavor you get in chocolate mint ice cream. Very good. Um, much as I don't want to, this is the best one here today. 96 out of 100. I wish it was closer to a peppermint than a mint. Because I do, I do think this leans towards more, tor more towards a mint. It's creamy and smooth. I love the texture. I wish there were more candy pieces. Yeah, this is spectacular. It reminds me a lot of a thin mint. Just with white chocolate. That's it. I wish it was a little bit more natural on the white chocolate side. Um, a little bit more vanilla. This is spectacular. If you have not tried this, please do me a favor. Go out and buy that whenever Christmas comes around. And last, hopefully not least, uh, Cherry Cordial. I have a feeling this is going to be just like the vampire, so I don't have high hopes. The thing is, I like cherry cordials. You know, I was going to show you. Off pink filling. Well, that's interesting. I taste the cherry. It's not super strong. And you can tell it's more of a, a unnatural, like, um, 
maraschino cherry flavor. Yeah, there's some chemicals in there. Um, completely overpowers the milk chocolate. It's not overly sweet, surprisingly. It literally just tastes like maraschino cherry. I don't particularly like that. I like natural black cherry. But I do not taste the milk chocolate at all. I just get the texture. The cherry completely overpowers the milk chocolate. It tastes like a cherry cordial. It's just not a good cherry cordial in my opinion. If you like that artificial maraschino cherry, you're going to love this. I personally don't. But nonetheless, it delivers on the flavor. 84 out of 100, they can improve by making the cherry more natural, stronger chocolate flavor, a little less gummy, and a little less artificial. But there has been seven Hershey's Kisses. Hopefully, I'm caught up now. We'll see what the next holiday brings. But if you like this type of video review where I try to go through all these flavors, um, be sure to comment down below. I'll keep recording them, but uh, y'all take care.